Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. If you are new, my name is Amy and I'm currently 36 weeks pregnant. So I'm just gonna bring you guys another quick pregnancy update. I was going to have one up earlier this week for y'all, but I just went to the doctor today. So I thought I would wait and film the pregnancy update after I went to my doctor. And then I'm gonna try to get it up for you this afternoon. But I will just start off with my last two doctor visits. I went to the doctor around 34 and a half weeks, which was like, which was actually like mid last week. And then I went again today, which is today is Friday. So there was only like a week and a half in between my doctor's appointments. Both of them were pretty like quick and simple. I just talked to my doctor. She asked if I had any like concerns, um, things like that, like just a regular visit. It wasn't, each visit was only maybe like 15 minutes, just like super quick. They listened to her heart rate. They measured my belly and that was basically it. Last week when I went, I did get my parking pass for labor and delivery as well as a birth plan. My hospital gives us a like birth plan to fill out and that way when I do go into labor, we give that to the doctor and then they kind of know what I want and they try to follow my birth plan as much as possible during my labor and delivery. So they gave that to me last week, I filled it out and it is in my hospital bag ready to go. But as you guys know, she has dropped. So she is super low and just getting ready for labor. My belly measured at 35 weeks both times, so at 34 and a half weeks and my 36 week appointment, my belly measured at 35 weeks. So it hasn't really grown much. Um, they said that was like normal though because she's already so low that it probably won't be growing as much. When I went last week, her heart rate was 158 and today her heart rate was around 145. Still staying pretty much where it's been this whole pregnancy. And like I said, they did kind of like feel her position and she already is head down and in the position for labor. So her back is on one side of my belly and then her legs are just kind of like wrapped around on the other side. So she is taking up all the space in my belly right now. So I will go back to the doctor on November 7th, which will be my 38 week appointment. And then I will go back at 39 weeks and I have an appointment scheduled for 40 weeks just in case she has not come yet. But fingers crossed that she comes a little bit early. Moving on to some of the symptoms I've been having lately, still peeing all the time, still having really bad back pain, and my feet have started hurting a lot because just like going to the store and walking around the grocery store, my feet will hurt so bad. As you guys know, I was unable to sleep for a while, and then I started sleeping better, and then now I am not sleeping well again. I wake up two or three times in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, and sometimes I just cannot go back to sleep. I will just like lay there and just think about all kinds of random things and and yeah, so <laughs> that is no fun, not being able to sleep, but thankfully my toddler is sleeping really well at night and sleeping in in the morning, so that helps a ton, being able to sleep in until about eight o'clock. I haven't been quite as tired during the day. I do get really tired, but I've kind of stopped napping in the middle of the day, at least for the past like week. I haven't been taking naps. I've just kind of been like doing things during my son's nap time instead. And I've been feeling pretty good. I definitely don't have as much energy or am able to do as much as I'd like to all the time. Just being 36 weeks pregnant, I cannot clean as much as I want to at one time or I don't know, anything. I can just cannot do as much as I'd like to all the time because I just get really worn out and I just have to stop and just drink a bunch of water and relax because my body is just telling me that I just need to take it a little bit easier. So I've been trying to do that. But on the other hand, I've been nesting a lot. I have a list of things I wanna get done before she's here. And every single day I just try to get like one thing done and mark it off my list so that, so that if she does decide to come early, I have everything done that I want. So I've been just like washing all of her blankets and organizing her clothes and socks and bibs and burp cloths and things like that. Just like organizing everything and having it where we know where it is and easy to access when she's here. Probably within the next week or so, I will finish packing my hospital bag and my son's overnight bag. Her hospital bag is already done. So I'm just gonna be working on mine and my son's overnight bag. And I will be having a what's in my hospital bag video coming up probably here in about a week or two. It just depends on when I get done packing it. 
But back to some of the symptoms I've been having. I told you guys that I've been drinking a lot of water. I'm still drinking water pretty much all throughout the day. And another thing that I've started like craving, I guess, is chewing on ice. I just wanna like chew on ice all the time. I have been having some Braxton Hicks contractions. They are not that painful though. Sometimes I'm like, is this even a contraction? Because it's just not very painful, but I have been having them. I've actually had a lot today for some reason. I've just had a lot more today than I normally do. Yeah, I've definitely been having them and I can feel that they are kind of getting stronger because today they've been hurting a little bit, but the past like week or so when I've been having them, they haven't really been painful. Another symptom that I've been having is my appetite has kind of gone down a little bit. I have not been hungry in the morning and a lot of days I will not even eat breakfast. I will just have my coffee in the morning. Sometimes I don't even have coffee in the morning. I just have water, but a lot of times I do not eat in the morning just because I'm not hungry. I will usually eat around lunchtime and then have a snack in the afternoon and then I will eat dinner and then I still have my chocolate after dinner because of course I need something sweet. I've still been craving that a lot lately, but in the mornings I am just not hungry. But yeah, um, like I said, we're just pretty much getting everything ready for her, doing the last few things I need to do before she's here. Starting next week, once I hit 37 weeks, I'm going to start taking evening primrose oil as well as drinking some raspberry leaf tea, just in hopes that that will help me during labor. I've heard that evening primrose oil is really good, but I didn't take it with my first pregnancy, so We'll see if it does anything. I don't know, but I'm going to start taking it next week. I've also been trying to go on a lot of walks. I will usually walk with my son during the day as long as it's not raining. We will go on like a 30 minute walk and just give myself some exercise. And I try to walk a little bit more fast paced if I can, if you can keep up with me, because I know that that helps as well to just kind of like prepare you for labor. So we've been doing that a lot. Okay, I am going to show you guys my belly really quick. So here's my belly. From the front. And the other side. But that's gonna be it for today's update. Nothing really new, baby girl and I are doing really well. For the most part, this has been a really good pregnancy. It's, it's been a lot easier than my first pregnancy, so I'm really, really lucky. But thank you guys so much for watching today's update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any video recommendations that are pregnancy related that you'd like me to do before I am no longer pregnant, then leave it down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video.